word of caution, Lord Sovu. If my time investigating Darth Nal's work has taught me anything, she did not like visitors. I do not fear the dead. I knew the moment you asked me here, you finally understood your limitations. It is no secret. Your role in the hand of the Empire should have gone to me. You are clever, I'll grant you that, but weak. We were never truly equals. Your expertise does have its uses, however. Get on with it. As you wish. is no of course you don't the mouse shows some teeth amusing but look at this you've saved me so much time Rivix. don't do anything foolish Right, Sovu. We are not equals. But you do have your uses. Hmm. Priority message for Keeper. I found something very interesting. I'll kill you. <laughs> I don't fear the dead, either. Put it down. Of course. Tau Adair, isn't it? I'm not here to talk. What a shame. Perfect timing. Ah, here we go. I've only just arrived, and you're already here to welcome me. Your hospitality is awe-inspiring. 
You found something belonging to Darth Null? I believe so. As for what it is, that is still a mystery. I have a theory, but that is all it is. A theory. I brought it to you in the hope that you could confirm it. Colonel Gola and Talos Drelik have been hard at work, combing through everything we've found, using the data to pinpoint other locations that may have been under Darth Null's control. But their expertise only reaches so far. You, however, have specialists and resources at your disposal that could identify what we've found. Maybe all the cutting-edge technology in our research laboratory can help. We'll take it there. To your fascinating hut scientist. I welcome the opportunity to speak with him again. You say that now, but five minutes into his theory on heliocentric gravitational constants, you'll be changing your tone. Nonsense. That sounds fascinating. Lead the way. I am eager to learn what secrets this relic may be hiding. Now, Sahar. Just try. I know you have it in you. That's not what your precious Jedi said. It's what I'm saying. I found my way without your sorcery. Had to cut my slave collar with this. She gave me a choice. Die or fight back. I fought and I excelled, Sahar. The day I became a Mandalorian, I knew I found my home. I hoped you would find success. You always had fire. I had little choice. Some earn what they have. Some are given everything. And some lose it all. You dare speak to me about suffering? Even the best armor has flaws. Spaces between plates of Beskar steel where blood can be drawn. The events of Runok have shown me our flaws. I planned for Shevisla to find us. She did. I challenged her and was nearly defeated. An outcome that was not expected. How could my plans so miss the mark? I asked myself. I looked and looked and finally found my answer. Someone did not honor their agreements. Someone valued credits over their own life. Basque's son used one of his pretty machines to make sure I didn't win the duel. He died like a coward. Because of him, we lost Runok. Because of me, we gained a great deal more. Sahar, can you come up here? This one brought me something taken from the clutches of Darth Malgus. Something so powerful both the Sith and the Jedi race across the galaxy to claim it. With Sahar's help, we can unlock its secrets. I told you, Hedda. We shouldn't do this. It's not safe. You're right. It's never safe to change a galaxy. Never easy to fight corruption and hypocrisy. But your brother said you would face anything to restore 
balance. Each of you will gather the resources needed to make my vision a reality. You will have your assignments, but none will know the whole plan except myself and Sahar. At long last, we will take back what is ours. I meant to say before, I ran into your old friend when I found Null's relic, Tau Adair. She put up quite a fight. She tries so fiercely to hide her contempt, yet she fails spectacularly. Her self-righteousness is a poor mask. She could barely restrain herself during an impartial negotiation on Mech Shah, and she made a mess of things on Corellia. No doubt we will cross paths with her again. I'm certain the Jedi will not rest until she has rescued the wayward Padawan. Over here, I do believe I've found something. Uh, but first, you must tell me more about this containment device you encountered. Uh, uh, what did it look like? How did it work? The intricacies of the device were fascinating. I would be more than happy to go over the details. But not right now. Of course. Some other time, then. If you can spare a moment, Lord Rivix, we can speak afterward. Until then, I performed a scan that can identify dormant energy signatures. Even if all that's left is the smallest trace, invisible to instruments you would find in more modest facilities. From the results, I can say with certainty that what you found is the remnant of a lightsaber. But there is more to the story. That is quite the find. You did well. I aim to please. My equipment also found microscopic fragments of the lightsaber's power source. By all indications, the crystal used to construct the weapon originated in the Adika system. That is curious. Before recent decades, Sith did not typically use Adegan crystals. They were favored by Jedi in Darth Null's lifetime, if she lived as long ago as we hypothesize. So, why did Darth Null have a lightsaber that was built like a Jedi's? A very pertinent question. Hmm. The answer may be more apparent than we think. We know Darth Null created the Children of the Emperor. Perhaps she used the crystals in her method of binding Jedi prey to her master. What else could she have built with them? In theory, the possibilities are limitless from all she seemed to know. Someone who does not shy away from knowledge, no matter its source, in order to create, to expand their awareness, it is admirable. I'm not sure the victims of Null's mind control techniques would agree, but I see your point. This might be the time to speak to Malgus again. You can ask about the interesting discoveries we've made here today. We're getting closer to understanding how Darth Null worked, but we still don't know what Malgus is trying to imitate. Not for certain, at least. Perhaps this new discovery will entice him to speak. I do not envy you having to attempt any sort of communication with that ill-tempered brute. Thank you both for your help on this. It has been my pleasure. I am more than happy to be of service. Now, Dr. Ogarob, about that containment device. The chat you had with Dr. Ogarob paints a better picture of what Malgus may have been up to. Darth Null's work on mind control says a lot, but combining Sith and Jedi toys? That's big news. Malgus following in the footsteps of someone with Jedi connections is a plot twist I wasn't expecting. Never mind had a Cole getting her hands on Darth Null's holocron. 
Do we know what's on there? We don't, but we need to assume that whoever holds that holocron holds the advantage. Malgus has the information we need, but he isn't talking. We're not running blind, however. What we learned about Darth Null's Jedi influence does give us something to go on, though admittedly not much. Heads up. Looks like we have a special guest. Tell these droids to get out of my way! I need to speak to Malgus! They answer only to the Empress and cannot be overridden, Shay. Some higher-up is all sweaty about my past contracts with Malgus. They've got no understanding of how those things work. One of those contracts was destroying the defense grid on Coruscant during an Imperial invasion. I was there to do a job. I did it and moved on. You should understand that. Perhaps, but permission to interrogate the prisoner is restricted to a select few. I'm going to find out if he's working with Hedda, with or without permission. That's why I'm here. We all need to know more about his plan. Don't you get it? With the Holocron, Hedda is part of that plan, willing or not. You weren't interested in the Holocron when we ran into Sahar. I wasn't, but I won't let Hedda use whatever's on there to hurt my people. So, what's it gonna be? I can handle Malgus. I've done it before. And you've got nothing. Use the same tactics, get the same results. Think about it. I'm the only one here who knows him. I get how he thinks, how he twists everything around, what's really important to him. I can make this happen. Doesn't change the fact that Shay isn't on the VIP list. Then put me on comms. Comms? To listen in? More than that, Shay can give advice during my questioning. Malgus had a few bad habits when I worked with him. I'm betting they're still there. If you listen to me, we can trip him up. Risky. But the situation calls for it. At least we'll be in full control. If anything seems wrong, we can shut it down. The moment you cease being useful, you're cut off. Is that clear? She doesn't move from this spot. against Malgus. He fears nothing. You keep talking about putting an end to what he wants and we'll get nowhere. Make him think you understand. That's the key to getting anything out of him. If you explained to me what you hope to accomplish, maybe I can help you. Maybe there's another way to finish what you started. A way that others will accept. Few minds can comprehend my vision. There are none like you in the galaxy. But you are alone. That is a strength. Attachment becomes weakness. Good. He's talking. Risk a question. I was surprised to learn that Heta Cole was part of your plan. She wasn't. My designs are much greater than her petty civil war. The Mandalorians are fractured, a broken people. They struggle to decide who they are. An endless cycle of waste and fodder. Useless. Big talk from inside that cell. Mandalorian history is nothing but slaughter and bloodshed. They know how to follow orders without question. Or fight for a purpose. Slippery Chakaris. 
Okay, maybe Hedda wasn't part of his plan, but something sure as hell changed. You can't conquer the galaxy without an army. When I am through, one will rise from the ashes. I will tear apart the corrupt systems that allow weakness to infect the galaxy. I will stop the rot. I will burn down all of their failing legacies and see who embraces the flame. More of his mystical Osik. What about the Holocron? Does Hedda have something she can use against my people? Who whispers in your ear? This is between you and me, Malgus. This is too late. Your thoughts are plain to me, Mandalore the Avenger. Your rage consumes you. There was a battle, and your prey slipped through your fingers. Your people are divided, while Heta Cole gathers her army. You are right to come begging for answers. Heta will destroy you. Where is she? Dindila Hutun, answer me! looms over us all, a shadow of unchanging history. There are fools who believe they can outrun the shadow. Without a flame to chase it away, it will consume them. They are doomed to repeat the same failures. None who have stood by my side have understood this. The only one who could have is my enemy. A shame that you and I must remain that way. All your plans have caused so much damage. I don't know how we could ever be anything else. you answered. I must make an unusual request. What's going on? Is everything all right? Yes. For the moment, I have been summoned by the three. What they had to say has left me disquieted. Meet me at these coordinates on Vos, and I will explain in greater detail. I sent you to look into the origins of one of Darth Null's relics. I haven't heard any updates. What I found... It is best if I show you in person. I will await your arrival. Voss. <laughs> well, at least it's nice this time of year. We have enough mysteries to contend with without getting the Voss involved. They're not exactly known for being straightforward. Sana Ray sounded unlike herself. I do hope whatever she has to tell you isn't too troubling. <laughs> 